Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2018 Heartland Bighorn Traveler 39 MB Quad Slide Luxury Bunkhouse Fifth Wheel. Overall exterior length is 41 feet 11 inches. The exterior height to the full walk-on roof and dual AC units is 13 feet 5 inches. And the unloaded vehicle weight is 13,892 pounds. And that is when it came off the assembly line and the reason why I know that is because this little yellow telltale sticker usually on the door frame and there it is 13,892 pounds this camper is uh, four seasons so you can go into colder weather I think it may be even zero degree rated fully enclosed heated underbelly uh, you do have keyless entry before I forget I always forget that show that off keyless entry and the nice aluminum steps Definitely a lot better than the steel that they used to offer. This is equipped with the six point auto level system. And as I pointed out, it does have the dual AC units on it. And this floor plan does have the loft above the bunkhouse area. And I'll show that off to you. Show off the floor plan here before I get started. This is a one owner coach. The only reason why the owner is selling this camper is because they own over 250 acres that they farm and they just have no time to go camping. So they gave me a call. All right, you got an idea of the floor plan here. Let's start off on the first slide out. It's definitely gonna be a super slide. It's gonna be about uh, 12 to maybe 14 foot long, three foot deep, accommodates the theater seating. Recliner chairs by Thomas Payne. Show off that Thomas Payne badge. Obviously it has the LED light accents, heat and massage. And this is power reclining. The fabric's going to be the ultra leather, and the color is going to be a tan. All the fabrics inside this camper and the condition on the outside is excellent. I would put this up against a brand new one all day long. Very well maintained and stored inside pretty much all its life when it's not out camping. MCD roller blinds, these are the ones you want. Show off the MCD badge there. While I'm here with good lighting, window treatments, it looks like some tans, some gold, some grays. Sometimes I'm a little colorblind, but you get the idea on that. Cabinets, they're going to be some kind of a maple, kind of show off that. With uh, looks to be like a nickel finish on all your hardware. And you do have hidden hinges. Uh, I'll show it off on one of the cabinets. But anyway, hidden hinges, so that's kind of a neat feature that usually you don't find on fifth wheels and campers travel trailers also in the super slide it's going to be freestanding table and chairs and it does have a high leaf right here and there are probably going to be two collapsible chairs somewhere around here hopefully i can run into them when i'm showing the bedroom uh, in the closet nice hidden pockets uh, compartments underneath the uh, seats and the fabrics are going to be on the chairs uh, cloth fabric with some colors of gray tans again maybe some golds excellent condition Spin around to the rear. Do you have the hide a bed ultra leather sleeper sofa? Uh, definitely, you can sleep two kiddos on this, two grown adults. Let's fix that. Excellent condition, no wear and tear again. And again, it's the same color as the Thomas Paine Theater seating. Huge, big rear window. ceiling fan this is going to be your second slide out another super slide it's going to be again probably 12 to 14 foot long and again three foot deep accommodates the uh, entertainment center area and the kitchen uh, it's going to have a fireplace usually a 5000 BTU heating source on this uh, Jensen stereo and it's all Bluetooth smart device ready all the good stuff DVD you got the idea on that TV uh, I forgot to check. Looks to be maybe a, five, a 55 inch flat screen and it is pivoting. It's locked away right now. You get the idea on that. Nice kind of a rain glass on some of your cabinet fronts. Kitchen, you do have the solid surface countertops. Three burner gas cooktop, front burner, usually a high output. Looks to be about a 22 inch oven. That used to be the largest that they offered in a fifth wheel. Uh, microwave. Always check to make sure the digital readout's working. 
Oh, stainless steel finish on your appliances. That's uh, that's I believe that was part of a package or an option. Island kitchen. Show off some of the cabinets. And one ten outlet right there. Nice LED light accent underneath the solid surface countertops on the island. Farmer sink under mounted. Farmer sink. under 110 outlet right there this is going to be the 15 cubic foot refrigerator the brochure says 16 it is a residential refrigerator and you do have a I believe going to be about a thousand watt inverter on this and definitely going to be the one of the larger refrigerators you're going to get on a fifth wheel Stainless steel finish, and there are no dinks or anything like that. Nice little digital readout here on the front door. Some pantry space. Oh, hidden hinges. There you go. It's kind of a big deal on fifth wheels. Nice LED light accent on the fascia of the slide outs. More pantry space right here. Just above the pantry area, you do have uh, that loft up there, and you get a curtain for privacy from the living room up into the loft area. I'll show that to you here in just a second. Show off the flooring. Flooring is going to be that wood plank floor look, residential grade uh, vinyl flooring. I don't know if I got it, but you do have the ceiling fan. That may have been part of an option or a package. Dual AC units. Uh, one's going to be the 15,000 large BTU AC unit. Probably this one right here. It's got a quick dump feature. Open up the louvers. Cools off real quick. Once you camper cooled off enough, you close off that louver. You ducted AC all throughout. And there's your ducting. Right there. You get the idea. And you do have another AC unit up in the bedroom area. It's all ducted together. It's a 13,000 BTU AC unit. You do have central vac. Insulation on the camper uh, is going to be uh, R40 on the roof for insulation, R32 in the floor, and R11 on the sidewall. And usually sidewalls on travel trailers and fifth wheels are 7 Show off the bunkhouse room or the mother-in-law mother room. It's going to be your third slide out, and this is another hide a bed, ultra bed, ultra leather hide a bed sleeper sofa pulls out. You can definitely sleep two grown or two adults on this, also. Condition excellent, and you do have lots of windows in here. Sometimes these bunkhouse floor plans, you only get one little window, but you got three of them. Paint around here, and you've got entertainment center area, lots of storage. One ten outlet there, one ten outlet there. Outlets are pretty important in the kiddos' rooms, so I like to point those out. All right, now the cool feature: the uh, loft above the bunkhouse room, and it's definitely going to be, gosh, a king bed, and it's the teddy bear mattress. Uh, you could definitely squeeze a whole bunch of kiddos up here, and you do have a one ten outlet up in the ceiling there. So if you have a TV or smart device you want to charge or whatever, odds and ends, you've got that option. Ducted AC up in here. So kids will stay nice and cool. Nice little ladder here. It kind of stows away. Let's put that in. There we go. Thermostat to operate all your... Uh, AC units and your furnace. Your furnace on this coach is going to be a large 35,000 BTU furnace. It's going to be your fourth slide out. Uh, it's the, I think it's the king bed. It is a king bed. I thought it was a queen. Uh, king bed does lift up, by the way, and uh, let's show off the headboard. Always got to show off the headboard. Looks to be some kind of a cloth, gray in color. Same as your window treatments. 
This is 50 amp service coach and you are washer and dryer prepped. There you go, that's where your washer and dryer would go. Uh, you could probably put a stackable in there, but definitely a combo unit fit perfect in there. Oh, let's turn out this light. I do check water damage on the inside of campers and RVs and I check all four corners, did not find any issues. Check around the slide outs, did not find any issues. Yeah, I don't know where the, I don't know, there might be some collapsible chairs for the uh, dining area somewhere outside. Oh, you do have uh, charging stations on each side of the bed. There you go. Nice little cubby there. And you do have a uh, 110 outlet down there. And I believe 110 on the other side. So somebody's got, uh, yeah, there it is, right there. Sleep at machine or anything like that, uh, you've got a place for it, probably right there. It's where your TV would go if you wanted a TV in here. Got a backer plate here, you just mount it. And cable and satellite hookups there. There's your 13,500 BTU AC unit with quick dump. Close off those louvers, inducted AC all throughout. You do have plush carpet in the bedroom. There is no wear and tear on this camper whatsoever. The bathroom, you do have a one piece shower, no caulking seams. It's a residential style shower, nice seating area, by the way. All one piece shower, definitely a big deal on a fifth wheel. Nice skylight there. Oh, medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. Always like to point that out. Huge vanity area. Foot flush china toilet, porcelain toilet right there. Alright, you get the idea. Oh, glass enclosed shower, by the way. Okay. Before we go outside let's show off your central command your monitor panel here you've got a it looks like a one command or let's light this thing up oh yeah there you go it looks like it operates the uh leveling on this and uh let's see here it should be remote ties into your uh smart device uh, central command here, uh, off door lights, all your light switches all right here, easy to figure out. You've got a 12 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater, whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power 15 minutes later, you've got hot water, water pump switch, easy to figure out, slide buttons, easy one. Uh, and then your awning, power awning, which I'll show you. It's, I think it's like a it's huge power awning, uh, lights for your power awning and your lights, uh, all of them do work, I believe I'll show you outside. This is gonna be your Magnum inverter. I believe it's gonna be a thousand watt inverter and it's standalone, I believe, for your uh, refrigerator. And it may uh, be tied into some of your outlets and your charging uh, ports so you can charge devices when you're not plugged into shore power. Uh, monitor for your battery. Uh, freshwater tank is gonna be a 65 gallon freshwater tank. Black tank is gonna be a 45 gallon black tank. And you've got two gray tanks on this. Each of them are 40, five gallons so you get a combined uh, as far as capacity for your sink and shower of 90 gallons all right let's kind of spin around here show off the again LED lights on the fascia accenting on the living room slide out give you one last look before we go outside As I said, this is a Four Seasons camper. You do have the, uh, let's show that weather guard, optimal thermal protection. Fully enclosed heated underbelly, uh, all your gate valves, all your dump valves, they're, they're all protected. Uh, so you can go into uh, colder weather without worrying about your tanks. Uh, even your garage area is all heated and I'll show that to you. Beautiful front rear uh, painted molded fiberglass cap, show off that. A Bighorn Traveler badge there and excellent condition. There's no scuff marks on this camper. I did check very well on this camper for any scratches, uh, anything that may be an issue inside now, and, and there are none.
So Heartland badge right there. Exterior speakers, two 30 pound LP tanks. Uh, show that one on each side. I'll show you the other one on the back side. Uh, insulated slam latch baggage doors. Oh man, they're heavy. Insulated, and so your garage area here is insulated. Refrigerator is not going with it, but if you're interested in the refrigerator and some of the accessories that the owner has, uh, maybe you can work something out with them. But uh, uh, again, this is not going with it. So you are forced heat in the compartment here, and you do have radiant heat right there. So this stays nice and warm during cold weather. Let's turn off that light. And you do have that, um, it's that tough shell uh, flooring, oil resistant, all the good stuff. And you've got, yeah, tie downs here and you got another one over there. Yeah. Slam latch baggage doors. Gotta love them. Compartment area here. Oh, you do have magnets. I do like to point out the magnets, by the way. Uh, you do have a grill. This hangs on to the back of the bumper, and I'll show that to you. It's all loaded up, but some of the accessories they have. Nice Dutch oven there. 110 outlet here. Show off that. There's that Z frame design that they've been using for years. Uh, it drops down the floor, and you have more storage underneath the uh, bedroom area for your garage. Enclosed heated underbelly, all protected. There's your six point auto leveling jacks hanging down right there. You got, show that off, two in the front there. And again, keyless entry. Your wheels, they're going to be, uh, yeah, they are 16 and they are F rated tires. And aluminum alloy wheels, beautiful, kind of zoom in on that a little bit. Excellent condition, by the way, on the tires. And again, they're F rated. They're calling this a high gloss, but it looks like a gel coat to me, but it is a high gloss, easier to clean. Walk on, uh, I'm sorry, ladder to get up on your full, full walk on roof and I almost forgot to show off the awning. I always like to show that the LED lights are working. There you go. See them? They're all working, and when the awning is closed up, it looks to be about a 19-foot awning, excellent condition, but uh, when the awning is closed up, you still have your lights uh, to light up your patio. Sometimes they'll put them in the tube, and if your awning's rolled in, you won't have patio lights. Uh, you do have the dark tint, 80% tint on the windows. They call it a darker tint in the brochure, but it's usually probably an 80% tint. Backup camera package on this, not just prepped. You got a little monitor you put in your vehicle. Uh, this is where the grill goes. Nice big horn traveler badge on the rear there. 50 amp service, marine style cord, curls up, uh, rolls up, and stows away nice and clean. You do have a light here that shows that you do have shore power coming in. Spare tire hanging down underneath there. Look at that. I do check for delamination, which is the bubbling on the outside of the coach, and I did not find any issues. I always look for water damage, first thing I look for. And just kind of pan down the side and see any bubbling or anything like that, but it's smooth. It's going to be your one of your dump valves. That's your gray tank valve right there, your gate valve. It's all enclosed up into the underbelly. Water heater service panel, again, it's 12 gallons. Insulated, again, slam latch baggage doors. This is going to be your water hookups area here. Cable up top, hookup and satellite. Uh, hot and cold running outside shower here and hookups here. Uh, just follow the directions for winterizing, hook, uh, filling up your city, uh, your, your fresh water tank, and of course, hooking up for city and water pressure regulator. Look at that. Black tank sewer flush right there. You don't have to drag a hose inside anymore. Some more gate valves, all protected in your heated compartment area. Water heater bypass right there. 110 outlet there and nice service light. And another service light. You get the idea. Back up here, kind of show that off. The back side, beautiful camper. Nice scare light on the back side right there. Or service light. Definitely one of the nicest uh, bunkhouse models you're going to find. Uh, anyway, 
I think I got everything. I always say it. If I didn't, I do apologize. If you want to come see the camper, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner, or you can call 502-645-3124. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.